Howdy folks, Jeff Sankstack here. This is part three of my multi-part tutorial on the Adobe After Effects Tracker. This time I'm going to show you how to use a characteristic of the tracker called Perspective Corner Pin. I'm going to use that to replace this sign with another sign. This is my friend Jerry Kermode's wood turning studio. He takes burls, redwood burls, and spins them on that lathe back there and turns them into lovely bowls. And I'm going to replace this lovely sign with something that's completely disconnected from wood turning and hope that Jerry doesn't mind, but I think uh, he'll get a kick out of it. So to do that, first of all, we need to um, make the comp. And I've got this little MPEG video. I'm going to drag that down to the new comp icon, and that makes a comp for us, matching the dimensions and the length of that video clip. And now I need to tell uh, After Effects you know, the dimensions of this sign. And I do that using the tracker. What I need to do is go over here and say I want to track motion. Now, just just for grins, let's say I don't click on track motion first. And I click on motion source first and say this is the, my motion source. But what happens when you do that, that little track motion button goes away. And some people go, well now what? I mean, I, I can't click anything, it just says none here, and now, now what do I do? There's all kinds of things that go wrong when you use the tracker that kind of throw you off and, 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 and de make you deviate from the, uh, your plan and you just suddenly throw your hands up in the air and go, I don't know how this darn thing works. Well, just to make that little fellow switch back on, all you have to do is make that layer active and then the track motion button will come back on and all is well again. So click on track motion and that gives you these various options. Now, previously, we have worked with transform. That's the default methodology that you use when you use the tracker. But there are other options under here besides transform. And what you want to do here is you want to use the perspective corner pin. Now we're not using parallel corner pin because those lines are not parallel. They're at a little bit of an angle. So we're going to take the perspective corner pin approach. And what that does is it puts four track points here on the screen inside the layer panel. Not on the comp panel, but the layer panel. And you want to put these four track points over the corners of this sign. And then you can have After Effects Tracker analyze this clip as it zooms in and, and then mark where those corners are as it zooms in and then you can replace the sign, even though it does zoom in. There's motion here. So let me show you how to do that. If I hover over here, it's, sometimes it's hard to actually grab these guys. Right now, if I look at the cursor, then when the cursor switches to that little four arrow thing there with the black arrow, that's the sign that says you can now grab this thing and move it. If it doesn't have a little four point there, you, you're going to move the wrong thing or the wrong part of the of the track point. The little cursor that you might see now is that's over the attach point. And I really don't want to move the attach point. So since it's so hard sometimes to grab this thing, I just want to zoom in on the layer panel. I just press control or command and then the equal key at the top of the keypad, which, you know, the top of the equal key is a plus sign. So just press that a couple times and and I can zoom in a bit. Now I can grab these guys a little easier. So I want to grab it so I can see that four point arrow there and drag that over to this upper right hand corner. I want to put it right there on the edge. Take this next one, grab it as well and put it up here in that part of the corner right there. And do two more. It's fairly simple. The edges, the corners are pretty easy for After Effects, for the After Effects tracker to identify. So the guy should uh, handle this one pretty well when we tell it to uh, analyze this forward. Okay, now we've got those four points identified and we need to tell the tracker to analyze this going forward. We've got the current time indicator at the beginning of the clip and if I zoom in, you'll, or if I move along, you'll see that it zooms in. So we need to tell it to analyze the clip going forward and try to identify those corners through the uh, zoom. So I'll just click this analyze forward button down here in the lower right hand corner. It's doing its analysis now, creating keyframes, motion keyframes, transform keyframes specifically. And let's see how it did. You can see them showing up there, little blue turquoise keyframes right there. And if I zoom all the way out again to fit, you might be able to see them a little better. If I open up the, uh, the video, you'll see that it has under motion tracker instead of, instead of only one track point, now it has four track points. And we're going to use those four track points on what's called the corner pin effect when we ap apply these track points to another clip. So let me just close this guy up again. I think I've mentioned before that these keyframes down here are just there for your use. They're not doing anything. They're just residing there so you can use them later if you choose to. So they don't actually cause anything to move, but you can apply them to something else. All right, now I want to apply them to another clip. So I'm going to drag this little sign down here, which I'm going to kind of hold off and showing you what it says just for the joke here. And notice that I put it below the video. 
which won't work. You won't see it. But I do want to show you that if you make a mistake like this, you can rectify it later. So now that I've got uh, this guy on the in the comp, I want to go back and apply the keyframes that we created using the tracker to this little sign that I'm going to use to replace this sign. So to do that, I go back to tracker, this tracker panel down here, and I need to say, okay, where are the, what's the source of those uh, keyframes, those tracker created keyframes? I say, well, it's the this uh, MPEG video. And notice that the JPEG still frame is gray, which means you can't select it because this is the thing that actually has tracker keyframes in it. So I click on that. And it says uh, current tracker one, that's that tracker one that has four track points in it. And the type of tracker is the perspective corner pin, which is where we left it last. So now we say edit target. And it'll give you only one option here. If you click this drop down arrow, you see the second option, the original video that has the tracker keyframes on it. You can't select it because you can't apply these tracker keyframes to the same layer that you made it with. So there's the guy we're gonna we're forced to choose, which is fine. We click OK. And we're not done. This is always the one thing that people forget. Once you you select it, once you edit the target, now you need to apply it. And applying it, it happens automatically, and now the sign has been put on top of this sign, except, oh my goodness, I don't see it. And why don't I see it? That's because I purposely put it below it instead of on top of it, just to say that, so now all is not lost. All I have to do is just take this layer and put it up above the other one, and bam, there it is. And that's my little joke. This sign has sharp edges. I love that little sign. And now if I play it forward, I just play the clip, you'll see that will move in, and it will look like it's connected to that board there, which is totally cool. And now, by the way, if you want to, let's say, apply an effect to this sign, let's say hue saturation, try it right to the sign, and let's say I want to just maybe darken it a little bit or something, just to kind of bring it down just a touch, make it a little less like it's sitting outdoors along the side of a road, which is where it was photographed, and maybe I want to change the hue just slightly, perhaps, maybe make it a little bit dark, maybe give it the orange feel of that room there. You can apply effects to that individual layer without affecting everything else. So that's how you use the perspective corner pin property of the tracker panel to uh, replace a, a four-sided object with another four-sided object here in After Effects.